Okay, so I'm at the Kotobukiya booth, and let me show you what they've got here. All right, so we've got some Kotobukiya Justice League statues. These look really, really good. I think these have all been released as well, so uh, these are available, 80 bucks each. But they look fantastic in person. It's a Gotham by Gaslight statue, $120, April of 2018. Some DC comic statues. <laughs> this one's really cool. The new Batman, Rebirth Batman. There's some Gotham statues, Jim Gordon and the Penguin, Oswald Cobblepot. <laughs> Here's an artifacts Captain Phasma, $170 price point, May of 2018. Very, very shiny looking. But these look really, really good. The Praetorian Guards, yep. all the different weapons. And there they are. There's an Emperor and an Executioner. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then there are some X Men statues as well. All right, so we are at the Dark Horse Collectibles booth, and I see a really, really cool Game of Thrones statue. Let me show that to you. All right, so they have a 1-1 one -one statue, 1-1 one -one the Giant from Game of Thrones. Uh, to be determined on the for sale date and the price, but it looks awesome. Look at the detail in the legs. Very, very cool. Looks like they're doing statues of the uh, map markers from the opening theme of Game of Thrones. These are cool. Very, very cool. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, we were a CD project, right? And it looks like they have some collectibles from Dark Souls, the video game, and The Witcher. So, some busts there from The Witcher, some statues. Pretty awesome. Okay, so we are heading to the NECA booth and we're gonna talk to them right now. We actually have an appointment, so they're gonna show us around, show us all of the new merch, but uh, really anxious to ask them about Pennywise because I wanna know about the seven inch figures, when they're coming out, all that good stuff. So we'll see you at the NECA booth. Uh, so these are the quarter scale NECA. There's a Captain America that is due out in the next couple months. So Cat from Civil War. Uh, I love it. What's really cool about this guy, his eyebrows are really cool. Oh, that is cool. So you can kind of change expressions. These Pan's Labyrinth figures, they're sculpted at this size, but they are going to be 7 inch scale figures. This one we have announced, this one's doing really well for us. This is the uh, Camp Crystal Lake uh, accessory pack. Um, and then also new for here, the part two of Jason. So this Jason, the quarter scale Jason, the unmasked version has these slices in its head where you can actually put the axe into the slice in the head. All right, so here is the Pennywise. This is the classic Pennywise in seven inch scale. 
And this one right here, this is the prototype, but it's actually just scaled up so you can see the detail. This is how it's going to look yes. in seven inch. So it's not going to be this large, it's going to be an actual seven inch figure. All right, so we're still in the NECA booth. We're on the other. They have two booths here. So here are the, I don't know what scale these are. I think they're 10 inch figures, but they have soft goods. They're doing Reanimator. There's Q3 of this year. They're doing a Elf. <laughs> that looks awesome. They've got the Fog. And then they've got these two awesome, awesome looking Freddies. Really, really cool looking Freddies. Look at that one. The Cast Labyrinth. Yeah. We, we and then for those that like the Blade Runner 2049 movie, we're no doing the Jared yeah, Leto. And I forgot her name, but she's a very cool character right in the movie. Now we have these, uh, but uh, these have just been released. Yeah. So check your stores for these, but they look great. With our deal with them. All right, so I am at the uh, Diamond Select booth, and uh, it looks like that there is this group here, Dynamic Action Heroes, and they look like they are the same scale as like Play Arts Kai, but you could see they're the movie representations. So there's the Batfleck, Wonder Woman, there's the Superman, there is the Steppenwolf. Is summer. Uh, SRP on the step over 65. But they look pretty good. I like the likenesses on the face sculpts. There's a tech suit Batman. I really liked the Aquaman. This one caught my eye when I was walking. And Aquaman's going to be 60. Beast Kingdom is the manufacturer. And there's the cyborg, Wonder Woman, Batfleck. And Superman again. I guess this is the packaging of these dynamic action heroes, armored Batman, MSRP is 50. And it looks pretty good. <laughs> okay, I'm still Diamond Select, and this is the Star Ace exhibit here. And the one that kind of stood out to me was this, uh, it looks like it's about 10 inch scale flash articulated with soft goods so it's kind of like a larger scale mezco i would say smaller than hot toys but they also have a very cool 300 figure there as well and some harry potter stuff but again that is star ace all right so we have some mezcos here they've got the uh what's the black death stroke the yellow suit Daredevil, black suit Spidey, Ascending Knight Batman, the blue and gray version. There's X Force Wolverine, X Force Deadpool, good old Steve Rogers, and Reverse Flash. So, this is a first out of box sighting for me X Force Deadpool. And let's see if we can get better light here. There's X Force Wolverine. And there's those. The desk stroke looks really good too. Okay, so I'm at the Play Arts Kai exhibit and it looks like they're doing X23. This one's not painted yet, it's the prototype, but it looks really good. X23. And then the other one is this variant Play Arts Kai Cyclops, which looks really awesome. Here's the side view. Final Fantasy Bahamut. $150, July of 2018. And then here's another Play Arts Kai. This is Vincent Valentine, Final Fantasy. That looks really good. A bit of detail on that. That is pretty awesome. Okay, so they have more of these samurai movie realization figures. 
You have a Stormtrooper. There's another Stormtrooper. There's the Darth Vader, which looks amazing. You have the uh, Royal Guard. Stormtrooper. Like an Archer Stormtrooper there. And then like a Death Trooper. And they have the Darth Maul, the Django Fett. And as far as the Marvel stuff goes, I know a lot of you guys are finding the Spider-Man and the Iron Man right now on clearance at Barnes & Noble, but check out what else they're coming out with. So they're doing a War Machine. Here's the Captain America. And then they're also doing a Deadpool. <laughs> So we've seen that one. This one's new, a Padme. Padme Amidala movie realization. And then they're doing a Gamorrean also. So that's very, very cool. The Gamorrean guard. And there's the Imperial Royal Guard. Looks like they're doing two versions. Because that one has, this one has like a longer cape. This one does not. But uh, the Padme looks pretty cool too. All right, so. Oh, there's the Hulkbuster. There's Pixel Dan again. What's up, man? What's going on, buddy? <laughs> okay, these are very, very cool looking. These are made by a company called Sentinel. Sentinel. And that bleeding edge armor is 200. It's a beautiful, beautiful Hulkbuster right there. Looks like it's the comic version of the Hulkbuster. And it is 359. And then another Iron Man for 120. Their office is Here's like more from Sentinel. From Looks like these all light up. Oh, they are doing some small ones. Like, this war machine looks pretty awesome. Here this thing. This one is going to be 210. There's an Iron Patriot. And one more Iron Man. And again, light up features. All right, for all the Dragon Ball Z fans, here are some SH figure arts for Dragon Ball Z. Super Saiyan 3 Son Goku. We've got, I'm not sure how many of these have already been released. I know a lot of these have been probably released already and they're on sale, but I'm gonna show them to you anyway. This guy is Shenron, and he looks very, very awesome. Look at that base. All right, so SH Figures fans, we have Akuma. There's the Ryu, which is already out. Rashid, which is already out. Cammy, which is out. Here's Chun-Li. Ken at the top. But that's the first time I've seen the uh, Akuma auto package in person. Okay, so I'm not sure how I missed these the first time around, but Iron Studios has some very, very awesome, beautiful statues out. Nakia, Okoye, Killmonger, Black Panther. And then there is a vulture, which looks amazing. There's the Iron Man. And the Spider-Man from Homecoming. But this vulture, wow. And uh, here's some more statues by Iron Studios. This plastic man looks really good. I'm doing a penguin and a... That almost looks like Alex Ross inspired art for the Wonder Woman. And we got Blitzway. Here's the Ghostbusters all in 12 inch scale. The Slimer.
All right, we are at Super 7. Let's go see what Masters of the Universe stuff they got out. There's Banny Faces. Looks pretty cool. There's Merman. Looks like these are the ones that are based on the um, animation on the cartoon. There's a Man at Arms, Hordak, Tila, Triclops. And we got some more deluxe figures down here. So it looks like they are based on the original toy, but they have an animation look and they have a little bit of extra articulation. You can see there's a, a hinge in the thigh, in the upper thigh there. It looks like it's still swivel arms. But I really, really like the pink on these and how they made them look like the cartoon. Beast Man and Man at Arms. So, for those of you that are interested in the reaction figures, they're doing Hellboy reaction figures. They look pretty good. There's an Alfred Hitchcock. I like that one. Here's some uh, Universal Monsters in the Reaction series prototypes. Alright, so here's some more Reaction figures based on Ghosts and Goblins, the old game. I think that was on Nintendo, original Nintendo. Very cool. And then some more Reaction figures from Robotech. So this summer for the Transformers glasses, the Street Fighter glasses are available now. Yeah, Street Fighter are available now. You can order them right now. Excellent. What about the Ghost and Goblins? Um, yeah. this summer. I mean, it's just a, ma a matter of us uh, getting them because we redid the packaging and everything. So now each glass will come in like this Super Seven branded box okay. sort of thing. Awesome. Um, so it's not just you won't you'll, you won't just get the glass.